In this tutorial video, you will learn about permissions in SharePoint 2013. To view site permissions, you must first click on the settings gear for your site. Click on Site Settings. Under the Users and Permissions column, click Site Permissions. This is where you will be able to define user or user group permissions for the site and any subsites. Before we get started, let's review some terminology. Permissions grant a user the ability to perform specific actions. The different types of permissions are as follows. Full control. Full control allows a user to do basically anything on the site. Design. The user can view, add, update, delete, approve, and customize the site. Edit. A user can add, edit, and delete lists, can view, add, update, and delete list items and documents. Contribute access allows the user to view, add, update, and delete list items and documents. Read access allows the user to view pages and list items and download documents. Limited access. This allows the user to only view specific lists, document libraries, lists, items, folders, or documents when given permissions. View only access allows users to view pages, list items, and documents. Document types with server-side file handlers can be viewed in the browser, but not downloaded. Permissions can be granted to individual users at the site level or site content levels. In this example, you can see that the user CI Content has full control, whereas the Demo Site Visitors group has read-only access. A SharePoint group is a group of users who are defined at site collection level for easy administration of permissions. Each SharePoint group is assigned a default permission level. For example, the default SharePoint groups are owners, visitors, and members, with full control, read, and contribute as their default permission levels respectively. Anyone with full control permission can create custom groups. It is highly recommended that the site owner add users to specific permission groups as opposed to giving an individual user permissions directly. We also recommend not using the share option to give permissions, as it does not always have the intended effect. At UHN, users must be added to permission groups with their TID. Let's try adding a user to the visitors group. Once you're in the group that you would like to add the user to, click on New and Add User. You will see that once I have typed the TID, the name of the user pops up. Select the user. There's also the option of including a personal message. Let's click Share. The user will now receive an email notifying them that they now have access to the site. Under the Actions menu, you have the option of removing a user from the group, thereby stripping them of their permissions, as well as some options for notifying members of the group. Under the Settings menu, you are able to view and modify the permissions of the group. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more videos like these, please go to the Corporate Intranet YouTube channel.